All right, what's up YouTube? Today, we're gonna talk about the difference between the Jeffries 13 by sevens, the true 13 by sevens, 110 scale versus the Dayton 13 by sevens that just came out that are actually 111 scale. We're gonna get right to the point. That's the issue you guys is the Dayton's, the Dayton's are too small. They would basically be 12 inch rims, which never existed. So I can't believe that Dayton would be the one to make that mistake of putting out the wrong scale size because they're actually 111 scale. Why would you put out a 111 scale when these are all 110 scales? I know what I'm talking about, you guys. I got the 1979 Monte Carlo. I got the 1964. And I got the 1959. I'm not just talking out of the side of my neck, you guys. So as you read there, that name, Jeffries, read that there, Jeffries. Don't deviate from this guy. Don't go with these other brands. Don't go with Dayton. Don't go with Red Cat. If it doesn't have that name stamped on it with whatever product is coming with this, you might be you might just not be satisfied with what you get. Now Candy and Chrome, they got some cool stuff. So you can definitely buy stuff from them. But some of these companies just jumped in the game and didn't really have it together, man. I can't believe Dayton would be the one. Dayton Wire Wheel would be the one to mess it up. That just, that's crazy to me. So get these. I don't, you won't see the Daytons on my display. Because I'm not wasting my time on a flawed product. How are you going to have a flawed product? And you're the king of wire wheels. This, the world is getting extremely bad with this hype beast stuff, you guys. Everything is overrated. Everything is junk, basically. So you got to pay attention to what you're spending your hard-earned dollars on. You, even this Rolex watch, you guys. Rolex is a hype beast brand. You know what I'm saying? They just are, you guys. Their watches are poor quality, they have to get fixed. Like every five years you have to have it tuned up. That costs like $800, it's just a joke. We get sold all this junk and we pay all this money for it. I'm gonna tell you guys what it is without lying to you. So the cool thing about these rims is when they come, this is what the standard stock, I don't wanna lose these, hold on. This is what the standard stock um, adapter looks like, right? And here's one sunken in the wheel already, good. So that's what it looks like, you see it? These have been on a car, so they're a little dusty too. Now, the Jeffries actually comes with this. I think I have one of these that's actually stuck. Okay, there it is. See how it pokes out further? This one? makes them rip the front wheels poke out like how they're supposed to with the extended a-arm look jeffries put a lot of time and effort in in thought into everything that he did you know these are like 22 years in research and development you guys these aren't just some basic toys that somebody made overnight this took a long time there was a lot of prototypes before it ever got to this man you know, so these come with the Jeffries, you know, and you know, they just go on just like this. They just sink right into there just like that, you know, but it makes it poke out more. Those are just for the front wheels. Then the back, 
this one goes in there and you see it almost goes all the way flush. You know? So, you know, he got it together. He did it right. He did it right for everybody. So don't don't go jumping ship on on old Jeffries just yet. Even though I know Dayton, oh, you see that Dayton name and everybody's just, you know, down on their knees. But Dayton actually, actually really screwed up. You know, they made a big mistake with, and I'm going to put a picture in, so I'm going to show you if you don't believe me, I'm going to put a picture in the thumbnail of this video is going to be the comparison, the Dayton with the tire taken off next to the Jeffries with the tire taken off so you can see the actual size of the rim. So you guys don't try to say I'm crazy, right? Now, these are actually true. Like they say, you know, true 13s, true, not a lie. It's hard to get the truth these days. You're not going to get the truth out of Rolex. <laughs> Promise you that. You know? Um, but yeah, I already unboxed this. You guys probably saw that video. I'm scared to even take it out and, you know, do anything with it. But in the next few days, we're going to take it out and bring it to the mall where it's inside, where there's no dust or dirt or anything to scratch it or anything like that. The underbody, anything like that. So... We'll take it for a little cruise around the mall. But yeah, don't even waste your time, you guys. Don't waste your time getting the Daytons. Just get these ones. And you're going to be like, oh, well, the Daytons are better. They're not the right size. That, it's just over, right? It's just over, right there. There is no debate. There is no, there is no comparison. They made a 111 scale. A great 111 scale wheel, but these are 110 scale vehicles. Nobody makes a 111 scale RC lowrider. So why Dayton? Dayton, why are you, why did you drop the ball? Does your tape measure not work? Come on, what happened? You guys forgot how to read a tape measure? You forgot what, how to scale things up and down? Come on, I'm just, I'm hella disappointed, you guys. I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed. But I'm not going to sit here and not tell you guys the truth, you know. Sorry to, you know, be the bearer of bad news. But don't buy the Daytons. Stick with Jeffries. He came this far to give us this. Just stick with him. Have some faith in the man. Come on, man. You all hype beast ass individuals these days, man. Kill me, man. You know, yeah, Dayton, it's a great name. It looked good. Yeah, it looked good, Dayton. She dropped the ball. Um, I think that's everything, though. I'm done. I mean, I, I gave you guys everything you needed to know. Showed you everything you needed to know. I have the chrome. I have these rims in chrome also. But just stick to Jeffries. He's giving you enough. He got you give you the cross laced. You know what I'm saying? He's giving you different. He's giving you different options. A lot of different things. So, you know, don't go shopping other places unless he doesn't have it for you. Unless you want to get disappointed. All right, you guys, I'm done. But I just gave you the business on the debate. You know what I'm saying? The. The competition, you know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no competition. Jeffries won first place. I'm done.